Hello YouTube family, Rose here. Um, I couldn't stay away from the thrift shop uh, last Friday. I needed to go there to get a tiny alarm clock. Uh, something my uh, uh, psychiatrist said to me that when I start something I should put on an alarm clock. And then when the bell goes I have to go rest. Well anyway, I was there and I found this lovely Buddha statue. And I have it. It's it's a solar uh, thing. It um, how you say that? It's a solar lamp inside, and oh, that's actually something else. And it lights up. I have the same one I got from my uncle from my for my birthday a couple of years ago, and it's next to my pond. And I got a second one, so that's going to go on my porch uh, next to my uh, on the other side of my Buddha waterfall. I found a very heavy chalice it's uh, iron steel copper alloy something it's really heavy and uh, i like it as a pot stand and i'm so excited about, about this haul because i got that buddha statue i got a chalice vase something but i also got um a waterfall i tested it it works and it was filled with look at this River stones, really nice, shiny, rounded stones, and I washed them. And I'm going to put something in there. I saw the fountain, I saw the stones, and I wanted to have it for the stones. I didn't know it worked, but in the store we tested it. There are very nice ladies over there. Uh, there are some stones left that were not as shiny around, uh, but this is nice, and it's also got one of the. I also found another one. Yeah. Um, it misses the round ball that goes on top, but I have two things I can put on there. This is one thing I forgot to show uh, for my last haul that my mother-in-law picked out for me. It's a it's a fairy candle holder, but I can put it in here and uh, the water streams up underneath and goes out from here. I also have something that I already had. Doesn't go with my haul. It's a it's a dragon. I don't know if you can see that. There's a lot of glare. How do I show you? Can you see the head? It's a dragon with uh, armor on. And I can put it there. Also looks nice. I still have to figure out what I want to put in there. They all work. They all have been cleaned. So I found a Buddha statue, a chalice, two fountains, a river rock. Um, something last time. And coffee. And I found six tiny cans of red paint that I want to paint something for my daughter because she wants to have a Spider-Man room. So I got that one. Um, then I have uh, tiles, mirror tiles, because I saw, uh, I think it was Blanca Acosta, who has the very pretty, uh, pretty potting table she made herself. Oh, I'm sorry. I always mix up Blanca with... Oh, I forgot her name. They both live in Florida. Really nice blonde ladies. Um, I forgot your name. I'm sorry. One of you have a has a very nice potting table. And uh, one of the uh, co-workers from the thrift shop has one I can get for free. But I do need to uh, refurbish the, the top layer. So I bought some mirror tiles. And I'm going to see if I can find some pretty... Old fashioned blue and white, blue red, whatever, uh, white red tiles. And I'm gonna steal that idea. I also found four uh, grow lights. Uh, they were uh, cleaning up a house. And in the Christmas lighting, I found one 300 watt Philips light bulb and 350 light bulbs. There are grow lights. Uh, long live Holland because you can't grow marijuana. Uh, legally, so I they're either for terrariums or they're either grow lights. I'm not sure, but I'm happy with them. They all work, they've all been tested, but that's not the reason why I'm so freaking excited. So I got lamps, really expensive one, they're 30 euros over here. I got mirrors, I got a Buddha statue that lights up, I got a chalice, I got two fountains, I got river rock, I got paint. Oh, and that's from the last hole. But look what I got. It says in Dutch, humidifier. That's the only thing I saw. When I was there for the alarm clock, I saw a stove. And my mother-in-law wanted to have a new, a better stove. 
uh, where the oven works. So I bought her the stove. And while we were discussing when it's going to be delivered, I saw this. And the Buddha. So I said, can you please, because I don't know how heavy it is, can you please put this in with the order that's going to be delivered tomorrow? And I didn't look at it. I was happy. I also got, I, I when waiting for them, I found all the other stuff and I'm really happy with it. I wanted to show it to a friend of mine because a friend of mine was here this weekend helping to make an aquarium background. And I was like, oh, look what I got. And then I was looking at it. And I was like, oh my God, it has a uh, cold and warm um, mist. It has three... Um, it has a 400 milliliter per hour uh, mist, so it it can on uh, the oh my god my English uh, seeing Dutch and trying to speak English is very confusing. So I'm going to uh, try. I'm gonna go like this. So it has three um, uh, stands uh, for low regular and a lot of mist and the, the the highest one has 400 milliliters per hour but it also has uh it has seven colors it has a led light i don't know why it has seven colors it has a night stand a uh, night mode so it um, has all the lights go out uh, it makes no noise uh, all the humidifiers i looked up because i found one i wanted and it's 45, uh, uh, 54 euros and it has 35 decibels. This one makes no sound. Uh, but it also has a 7 liter tank. And it has a, uh, a filter, a chalk filter, a calcium filter uh, pattern that you can twist in. You can, uh, they they're cost like 8 bucks and I have to order them from Germany. And you have to replace them every 3 months. But it has a 7 liter tank. It has a 400 milliliter out valve, whatever you want to call it. But it has a hygrometer, a built-in hygrometer. Uh, when you put it on, it tells you the humidity in the room. Like here, it's 57. Um, downstairs, it's... Uh, the average of my humidity downstairs is 60. Upstairs, a little bit lower. But I wanted that. I thought it was just a cheapy, cheapy one. And I was like, well, I'm just going to try it. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to buy the one I want. Um, and the one I wanted was a three liter, three and a half liter uh, uh, with a hygrometer. And um, it has the ionization thingy. Oh, yeah, this uh, it's it. How you call it? I have to look it up in English. Um, it's ionized mist. I don't know if it says something in English. Uh, ultrasonic mist. It ionizes, it kills the bacteria. It has a sensor for the high, uh, for the humidity. It, if it drops, if you, if I say you have to want it at 65, it, if it drops three percent, it goes on on its own, and it goes off at 65. Uh, so that is amazing. It has a 400 milliliter uh, exhaust per hour. It has a 30 watt with cold mist, 130 watts with uh, warm mist. It has a remote control. It uh, oh, when you put 70 liter in it at level one, uh, the the lowest uh, it goes for 70 hours, and at the highest level with 400 milliliters an hour, it, I can go for 20 hours. Uh, well, I'm not going to run them 20 hours, but it's really nice to know that this is a very expensive. Uh, humidifier i looked them up online and if you want a big tank if you want to have the hygrometer if you want to have the remote control if you want to have all the extra bits the 400 milliliters exhaust thingy you pay over 100 euros the one i found uh, was 54 and that was the max i wanted to pay for it and i even asked roger uh, what does it really need do you need a hygrometer? Because I can get 20 bucks. I can get one without it. But I really want one with. So I don't have to muck about. Um, and I got. So I got a humidifier. I got four grow lights. Um, uh, a Buddha statue that lights up. A chalice. Two. Darn it. Fountains. My river rock. My paint. I got all of this for 12 euros. How cool is that? 
I think I just made a thrift shop haul for over 150 euros for 12 euros. Um, I could not be happier. I couldn't be more excited. But this one goes into my new grow room. It's not finished, but I got two shelvings up and I will show you when it's done. I'm, I'm making short clips from for every stage and I will edit it and make a before and after a slowly. Um, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do that, whatever, but I'm going to do that, but I'm only going to show it when it's done. But this is going to go into my grow room. This I need until I have my LED light fixtures figured out because I don't know what I want yet. I do know I am not going to run 150 watts for eight hours a day. That's not going to happen, but on a dreary day, I can leave them on. Um, I just want to test them. And if I ever going to start a terrarium, I have the lights. You know me, I go overboard and I get, I saw orchideas. Oh, she has aquarium tank, terrarium tanks built for orchids. Oh my God, I'm in love. So like I said, you know me, I go overboard. I see ideas and I think like, oh, I can do that. But I got a lot of stuff for my grow spaces. I'm going to put one upstairs and one downstairs uh, outside. And I think I'm going to remake it so it is a mister. From AliExpress, you can buy for four euros, you can buy a mister. And if I use that instead of the water fixture inside, they're going to be missed. So if I put this, if I got my Buddha, my mister, my Buddha waterfall, and then my orchids in the summer, and you get the nice mist flowing, that will be amazing. If I put some lucky bamboo up, it's going to be like a Chinese forest. I am so excited. I I know. Or Thrift shop hauls are not or orchid related and maybe they're not so fun for you, uh, but maybe they can give you some inspiration, what you can find and go out there, go find something for your plants, go some, go out something for your garden. I don't know. I know that I am very lucky with the thrift shop around the corner. That's the farthest I get out of the house <laughs> and I get back with stuff every time. So I'm going to fear that one day my husband says, it's off limits. You spend too much. But seriously, for 12 euros, I can paint, I can have waterfalls, I can repot in Riverstone. I am so happy. Sorry for this long ramble. Oh, look what I did to the other one. Uh, I wanted to put plants in there. But when I came downstairs, my husband uh, put this one and the candle holders that, I, that are in the kitchen now holding plants up. Uh, he said, well, I like this. I think it's nice like this. So okay, oh, okay, I will make a full arrangement, something. So I'll put a candle in there and some, yeah, my Kokodama balls. Until I make them, they can be in there. Some pine cones. And I have uh, the yellow lampionnetjes. Uh, oh, shite. If you go walking with a stick, you have something hanging on it and you put a, a, a tiny tea light in it. How do you call those? Lamp... I don't know. Never mind. They're orange and they're nice and they're autumn-y. And so that's going to be there. Um, yeah, my husband took it. <laughs> that's still there. I'm not done with my grow room. I'm uh, actually having a flu. I'm not having a cold. I'm, I'm not coughing or something like that. But just my whole body aches. And I'm, I'm excited now. But I'm actually really tired. So this is the only thing I'm going to do today. Just showing you what I got and saying... Ah! I got a humidifier. Yay. <sighs> I have to stop rambling. I have to edit this out. And 15 minutes of thrift shop haul is not fun. Well, anyway, um, thank you all for watching. I would be excited if you would share with me if you go to thrift shop uh, hauling, if you go treasure hunting, if you have anything special that's really remarkable and special to you that you found at a thrift shop or a garden how you call those garden sales? yard sales or car boot sales when you're in england oh i love the english car boot sales if i go to england every time we go every sunday we go to a car boot sale i brought home amazing treasures they're still in my kitchen they're uh, all around the house showing my little adventures so share your adventures if you would like and um yeah uh oh also before i forget uh I touched on 100 uh, subscribers yesterday. I lost a subscriber in, since yesterday. So uh, I said I'm going to do something special and funny. But I'm still not sure what I'm going to do. 
but I wanted to say thank you to everybody who subscribes. I wanted to say thank you double for everybody who comments and uh, you're all really nice people. I love you all. Um, I'm happy to meet people from all over the world and um, you make my day, you make it growing so much more than just growing plants. It's uh, it's just fun for me and uh, yeah, so thank you. I'm gonna say bye now. I'm gonna say bye with my kitty cat. Hello. Psst, psst, psst. Hello. Psst, psst. Look at the camera. Do you want to look in the camera? Hey. Psst. Hello. No, she doesn't want to. So I'm gonna say bye and I'm gonna see you all later. And oh, there we go. Yes? No? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna leave at that note. Thank you all for watching. Bye. Rose out. See you next time.